Welcome back to the CRM channel, sponsored by SuperOffice. And in this part of the series, we're going to look at how a methodology called CPM can be implemented to improve sales success. And I'm joined by Julian Jones, MD of Adaptive Business Support. Welcome, Julian. Now, um, in case viewers haven't seen the first part of the series, what is customer performance management and why is it so important in successful use of CRM? Well, customer performance management is a sales hunting tool that uses sales intelligence sources to provide direction to sales functions, whether that sales function be a, 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 an owner managed business or a sales team in a corporate organization, to provide that clarity, focus and direction that sales teams need to go out and hunt. Okay, so let's take a look at the implementation of CPM and you've been doing this for 12 years. Do you believe that you've got the, the blueprint for this? Yes, I, I think we have. Um, the two of the key ingredients are, are data and rules of use. Okay, so if we take a look in more detail at data, what does that mean? Well, data is the lifeblood of a CRM system. But of course, it depends on, on what the business wants to do with that data. A list of, of company names and addresses might be adequate. But by adding more data to it, by adding more information, we can derive more from it and derive more value. But it is about how the data is used, how, the, how consistently it's used. OK, and with the sales force, do you think there have to be rules? Yes, we do. Our, our experience has shown that when rules are created for salespeople and sales functions, they operate far more effectively because we have a consistent approach. And salespeople, being salespeople, if you don't write rules, they write their own. Many organisations rely on common sense to drive sales activity. The problem we found with common sense is it's just not very common. So therefore we need to introduce some commonality so we have a, a consistent approach that customers know and expect. And what about data then? CPM isn't possible without data and neither is CRM and neither is it possible to run a good sales force today without good data. And we know that if, if a business was, for example, implementing CPM or CRM, the more work that's done on the data prior to it being uploaded into these systems, it will pay dividends in the future. Okay, so let's talk propositions. Customers and prospects need propositions that, that match their needs. What CPM will do is focus sales uh, functions to, to talk to those customers where the, the propositions are clear, where the, the likely need is clear. Therefore, we can be sure that, or much more assured, that those customers are going to be interested in what we've got to talk about. Let's talk about CPM champions then. Implementing uh, something such as CRM or CPM where we have a champion, someone who really just engages, it could be senior management, uh, a project like CPM will be far more successful if it is seen to have the buy-in from very senior managers. Mm. But when we create champions, those people who absolutely get it, it becomes infectious. And, and so finding the champions, spotting them and working with them is key to projects. And of course, with those champions, it's about training as well, isn't it? It is, and, and, and training needs to be un, un, underpinning what CPM and CRM is. If we want people to consistently use it in the same way, understand why it should be used, training is absolutely key. Absolutely, and also with that comes maintaining momentum. It is, and, and we need to create this virtuous circle where salespeople can see the benefit. And maintaining momentum is, is often far easier to achieve as soon as salespeople see success. If they can see that sales hunting tools are helping them achieve their numbers, dare I use the word easier than it might have been using a non-sales hunting technique, momentum starts to be maintained and we get buy-in. Once we get consistent buy-in, it becomes cultural. If we want to implement a CPM culture, we first start off with process. Good process leads to good procedures. When those procedures become habitual, then we start to change culture and then we gain momentum. And if people don't use CPM, um, what sort of pitfalls can people expect to come across within their business? I think without tools such as CPM, businesses will see that sales are, are not focused, that orders are, are won, but they're not won in, in terms of the type of orders or consistently in terms of hitting them month by month. But orders are, are achieved very expensively using the old-fashioned type of techniques. And that's what th those are generally the symptoms of, of not using some kind of sales hunting tool. Okay, thanks very much, Julian.
Now, the CRM channel is much more than just a series of videos. Its aim is to offer consultative support at an early stage. So together with ability to get all our latest free videos, white papers and news about events, we're setting up a forum on LinkedIn. So you can contact Julian and other supporters of the channel and get the answers you need to ensure CRM success. So get the full series and connect with our support forum by just pressing the button below now and we'll see you soon.